So Session just had its high school map update. It came out literally an hour or so ago. So I figured I'd jump in straight away, show off the map to anybody who's not sure if they're going to buy it or not yet. And also talk about the um, blog post that they made, which has some interesting details in it, which I think we need to cover. Maybe first let's go to the blog post. So this is their developer blog post. And if you have a look, it mentions that it's a content focused DLC release, which means the new map and some object dropper assets, nothing related to do to the um, physics or the engine or any kind of the broken stuff that you get in this game. None of that has been fixed. What they did mention, however, is that they're going to switch session to Unreal 5, which I'm pretty sure they said in the past that they weren't going to do that, but I guess they are now. Who knows how long that's going to take and what that's going to involve, but apparently for the future of the game, this is deemed necessary. In terms of the content, this is basically like your dream school map. It's got pretty much every classic school spot you can think of. Is the Hollywood 12 and 16, Carlsbad, Skittles, LA High Rail, bunch of different stair sets, famous stair sets, the Leap of Faith, El Toro. Basically a lot of stair sets, which is nice to have them in there, but I don't know, from somebody who likes skating more creatively, these are kind of, okay, it's nice to have them, I'll guess, but it's not the thing I'm most excited for. I want to kind of look into the little finer points of the map because they always make really good dense maps. That's the thing I'm going to look at, but yeah, it does have pretty much everything you'd want from what I can tell. And the object dropper, it has a few extra things some ramps, a sofa, a drinks machine, benches, tires. I'm not sure who's going to be using those, but hey. And in terms of what's next, they basically kept it very vague, saying they're solidifying the future for session, which means the shift to Unreal 5, I guess. It's no mean feat, and I guess this is going to take them a long time. They're not really saying a lot, which maybe reveals that there's a lot of work to go. I'm surprised that they will still keep developing this game so much to actually go through all that effort, but hey, you know. The other interesting thing is if you click on this careers link, it will take you to their careers page and you can see all the available positions. The thing that intrigues me the most is animation at the very bottom. A technical animator, they've still got a position open for that. But basically, it means they don't have an animator at the minute. I know they hired two people, but it didn't work out and they're still looking for an animator. So if you're looking forward to having animations updated you may have quite a long wait to go but enough of that let's just have a look around the map this is actually my first time playing the map as well so i don't really this is kind of my first impressions basically so you kind of have this little outside area which you've got in a few other maps as well a few of the base ones like a generic outside and you've got the hollywood 12 and 16 here and over there this little entrance thing, regional high school. Let's maybe just get something very quick on these. Very jank, Smith. Still, you know, it's kind of what you expect, I think. Maybe on the other side as well. What can we do? Fail, apparently. There you go, kick flip blunt. So yeah, when you come up, you got this main middle part, which you can see goes all the way down. There's actually a lot of stuff here. Look this way, we've got a cool curved rail. Okay, let's maybe do something on this curved rail. Oh. Sketch landing. Oh, we did actually get through that. It's pretty cool. I was going to try and smith it as well, but it wasn't locking on for some reason. <laughs> Another blunt. Sketch as hell, but... It's cool that little things like that are also included. That's where I get a lot of my fun out of these maps. A lot of benches, as you'd expect. So you're going to get a lot of good long lines around here. Oh, 
360 flips in manual catch is a thing. All right, so just so we can keep track. Wait, where are we? Okay, I've lost track already. This is kind of the middle bit. This entrance over here was what I talked about before, the main entrance to the school. Yeah, you can keep going down. There's Skittles. I think that's what it's called. Uh, those colored ledges. Then we've got this bit over here, which also extends all the way down. This is actually a really huge map. I'm surprised. It did look a little small from the outside, but as you get in, you notice there's more and more stuff. And roof access. Actually, yeah, thinking about it, if you can get up all... Well, I guess you can cheat your way around them as well. But getting on these rooftops and figuring out all the gaps between roofs, going down or whatever, you're going to get a whole lot of options, I think. Clearly, you know, realism. But still, kind of gives you an idea of what could be possible, like drop-off type of things. Or going from here down to this rail would also be pretty sick. Hugely unrealistic, of course, but you know, who's complaining? Yeah, I'm always going to try and attack things from different angles where possible. We also have rocks, which is cool, because if you know me, like riding or skating anything weird is definitely... Can we get over there? I wonder if we could. This is also another famous spot. We got a lot of stuff like crammed in together here. Bang. Oh god. I didn't plan for that. Nice long curved ledges as well. They feel really nice. Okay, let's go back to going sideways across. This is where we were looking at before on that little roof thing. That drink machine as well is also the thing that you can place now. Then we've got Skittles here. Angle. Still going now. Let's go back to these rails. Okay, well, back to the bit we're at. Okay. Maybe do something on these really quick. Very short though, so it's going to be pretty hard to get anything on them. But also, maybe. No, I was going to say do something on the middle rail, but maybe that's a bit too hard. to grind for some reason. I'm not sure why. Just scraping these rails. Ugh, that was jank. Okay, let's maybe keep going down. I could play there forever, but... There are some fences around, so I assume that kind of means where the map ends, or where you're not supposed to be. There may be a way around it. I'm sure people will figure that out at some point. Well, kind of made it. Oh, shit. 
So I guess that means this is El Toro. Yeah, it looked like it. I guess we have to do something on this, right? There's actually cars driving in the distance as well, which is pretty cool. Go for realism, you know, the stuff everybody does. I'm gonna get a nose blunt. Oof. Nice. We maybe get a kickflip 50 50. Not quite. Kinda? It looked like it wasn't on completely, but may maybe have another go just in case. Okay, that was a bit more solid. If you're wondering why I'm missing so many flips, it's because I turned... I went to fully manual flip and rotation speed, which it, I wanted to use it before, but I realized unless you're in 60 frames per second, it won't actually work. So I've had a kind of had to just give up on having a higher frames per second to make sure I can play everything completely manually. It does look a lot better, I must say. It's just a bit of a pain and a bit unfortunate that you have to be at 60 frames because I don't really do that anymore. It feels a bit weird. I guess I've kind of gotten used to it at this point. Ouch. Crap. Ooh, route to ledge. That's my kind of thing. Uh, maybe this one. Like the ledge to rail to ledge. That's a very me kind of thing. Especially in pipe. I'd love to do something cr crazy with that. It may actually be pretty hard to skate though. We made it, just. Didn't take too many tries either, so I'll take that. Damn. We actually extended that to a blunt somehow. I guess this may be one of the last spots. There is a bit over here. Okay, now this is a lot bigger than I expected. And also the Leap of Faith, which is cool. But I guess unless you've got the slightly bugged high drop thing, like, it's pretty much just a big gap, and there's plenty of those already. Still, in terms of filming and stuff like that, I guess a lot of people would love to have that in there. Could maybe figure out some other crazy stuff on this, like these skinny ledges, plus from here, grind on the roof. Okay, let's maybe do that just for the sake of it. Not realistic, but you know. Oh, wait! Does he hit his head on that thing? Maybe you can't grind that. Let's just have a look. Yep. Knockout punch. Here you go. More realism. And death. Kind of got it. Turned into an overcrow for some reason. I wanted a no slide, but I'll take it. Some nice little banks to benches. Kind of another go to spot at any high school, I think. The only problem is getting the speed just right. Also, I like these ladies. Big ass rail here, alongside El Toro. We've got this kind of little path all the way down, so a lot of potential for lines. Actually, the whole thing is just kind of a gradual slope downhill, so you could do some huge runs from top to bottom if you really wanted to. Inside the double flip. Oh, 
For some reason, the perspective on those is always really hard. I don't know why. Well, we got it. So yeah, just to cover the rest of the map, I think we're already at the bottom. Maybe actually make it a bit brighter. There we go. I presume this is another famous stair set. Sorry, I'm not a skater, I'm a BMXer and I did Flatland, so I don't know the names of a lot of spots, but I reckon I've seen this before somewhere. Most of the things around here I'm assuming are famous and I'm just not fully aware of them. Ooh, nice little roof with a rail on it as well. Maybe actually do something on that pretty quick. Well, doesn't look that great, but... Did get a smith. Which is nice. Can we feeble it as well? Uh, maybe not. Oof. Crook. Nice. Actually, that acts as a little bank to this. Could maybe get over and figure something out. It was worth a try. Ooh. Yeah, just wants to clip the last part. Okay, we're back to this bit again. I think that's everything. Some more big rocks. Car park. Presume you can't get out there. Yeah, overall, pretty big map. And pretty impressive, I would say. The more you dig into it, the more you're probably going to find a bunch of interesting stuff to skate. And. If you know me, and if you follow my channel, you'll know I'm probably going to go to specific spots in this map and just try and get as many ideas as I can out of them, because I have a few ideas already. I know a lot of people will cover all the big famous stuff, and that's fair enough, but figuring out all the little minor things is where I get a lot of my fun out of these games. So... <sighs> yeah, expect some of that to come. I don't want to make the most out of this map. Also, let me know what you think about well, where the game's going from now on. Because from the sounds of it, well, it's a switch to Unreal 5, which... Or Unreal Engine 5, I guess I should say. Are people excited about that? I wonder what that actually entails. I guess they'll let us know at some point, but... Still, if you've been looking forward to some sort of major engine updates or anything like that, it's still going to be a long way away, so uh, a bit unfortunate on that side. Still getting that weird, weird landings and all that other jank that happens in this game. Which is, yeah, I don't think anybody's happy about that. But still, hopefully this gave you a quick first impression maybe a slightly long first impression of the game. I'll be back with more videos on here when I figure some more things out. But yeah, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe to see the next video when it comes up and I'll see you next time.